Now, sometimes in life, you need to do things just to prove to yourself more than anyone else that you can do them. Well, my next guest today, he's doing just that. Nick Cummins from Ware in Hertfordshire is 41 and developed a stammer when he was 11. He now describes himself as a recovering stammerer and has been working for the past few years to gain control of his speech and throw himself into situations which challenge him. So he's here to take up the challenge of a live radio interview with me and to tell us more about his life for those with a stammer. Welcome. Come along, Nick. Good afternoon, Lorna. Thank you for coming in. Now, I did say that was a challenge. Just how much of a challenge is this for you today? Tremendous, actually. If you go back a few years and before I started on the Maguire programme, the thought of giving any kind of interview would have filled me with dread. Now, with the technique that I've learned over the past two and a half years I'm able to cope much better with the challenges in front of me and occasionally look forward to these <laughs> speaking situations so prior to Maguire very difficult. Well, I noticed today you're saying it with a bit of a smile, so I hope you're going to enjoy <laughs> this. But I noticed you're breathing as well. Is that what is controlling your stammer at the moment? Most certainly. The Maguire programme teaches you to get, get control of your speech using a new breathing technique. You go on a very intensive four-day course that teaches you to breathe differently and therefore this is what gives you the control back and keeps the stammer at bay. We'll talk more about the Maguire programme in a few moments time because it's something which is global as well as national and as well as local and there'll be lots of people interested to find out more about it but you developed a stammer at 11 years old. I actually, excuse my ignorance, always mm -hmm. thought that people were born with a stammer. Everybody's different. Some people are born with a stammer some people get a stammer later in life, in their teens, going to school or whenever, or even much later in life. So for me, I think it was going to senior school with the stress of going there and reading out a book in a lesson was the thing that really pushed me and made me more aware that I was different maybe to the other kids in my class. How did the other children cope with it or did they kind of ignore it or did you get bullied for it? As we know, kids can be cruel and so when I was reading out in class, more often than not the other kids would then laugh at the fact that I couldn't get my words out and would, and would get stuck on the odd word or phrase. What happens as you go through adult life as well? We take things for granted. You know, you might call a taxi or you might go to a restaurant and order a meal. Is that, or was that, quite a big challenge for you? Once again, it's something that, as a stammerer, I would always go out of my way to avoid those kind of situations. I have a very understanding wife who would regularly order the takeaway meals for us or the taxes for us, so I would always avoid those situations and hope that my wife or friends were around to do it for me. Mm. Did you see things on the menu and you thought, I'd like to have that, but I just can't get my words out in order to say it, and therefore you had something completely different to eat? Going out for meal was always a challenge because I would look down the starters and the main courses at the food items I could say, not the ones I really wanted to eat. So I'd end up having something that was quite nice. <laughs> but not what you wanted. But not what I wanted, so that was always disappointing. So you got yourself on the Maguire program. How did that come about? What suddenly made you think to yourself, I'm going to join this, I'm going to work on my breathing, I'm going to get my stammer under control and be in control of it rather than it being in control of me? My wife and I were watching a documentary about Gareth Gates. Mm -hmm. 
We big X Factor on Pop Idol fans. You by shouldn't the way. admit that. So am I, but <laughs> it's not a good thing to admit. Okay, it's a secret that's out now. <laughs> and we were watching a documentary about Gareth, and he'd been on the Maguire program, and it was two years after his first course, and seeing how far he'd come in that very short space of time was what inspired me to look up the Maguire program on the web and the rest is history if we'd have done this same chat two years ago how different would it have just gone I wouldn't be here two years ago but I would be talking like that and no would not be in control of my speech so but first and foremost I would never adv never had volunteered to be here in the first place mm. does it annoy you do you still get treated differently do you think as an adult do people jump in and try and finish his sentences for you do people look at you in a different way and they think perhaps this man isn't as intelligent if uh, if he didn't have a stammer they might think it's you know quite intelligent person with a stammer does that immediately put you on the back foot with everybody human nature people are kind as part of the program we regularly go out and meet 100 new people part of the courses we run on the regular support groups that we attend we go and meet a hundred strangers we go and say our name we d do so in technique and we tell people tell people we're recovering stammerers and people are generally very understanding it is somewhat different when you're in a noisy bar and trying to order your drinks my mates always used to get me to ask for drinks that they knew I couldn't say no that's not nice because <laughs> they found it funny <laughs> no, that's not nice that's I used not to get nice. there in the end but Nick what you've done today you've met me you've also met over a thousand people as well so I think you've completed your uh, your challenge definitely so and I hope you found it enjoyable experience it's lovely to meet you I did and thank you for the opportunity no thank you for coming in Nick pleasure if you'd like to find out more about the Maguire program then look at the website or the w's dot you're listening to Lorna in the afternoon it's three counties radio